Hello wonderful students, I am Dr. Madhuri Shinvasi, your Dermatology faculty from Cerebellum Academy and here with me I have Dr. Akshara who secured 170 marks in the FMG December 2024 examination. So heartiest congratulations Dr. As uh, Akshara, how are you feeling right now? I'm so, so blessed and so happy and this was a, like a dream moment that passing in, in the very first attempt, I'm so happy. Yes, can you tell a few words about yourself, like where did you do your MBBS and uh, when did you start your preparation for the FMG exam? Uh, I have done my MBBS from China, uh, West China School of Medicine, Sichuan University. And after that, I have came back from there on this June and I started uh, preparing for this FMG exam from August 1, that is the Mission 200 plus plan. And I have completely followed this plan, this timetable and everything from this plan only. Okay, so you have uh, joined and uh, you have uh, watched all the live sessions or you have watched the recorded sessions? I have watched all the live sessions for only the first two subjects and after that I have uh, watched the recorded session the next day morning itself and followed the same timetable uh, of, uh, uh, of this academy. Okay, so basically you have used uh, the live session whatever lectures uh, were taken. And uh, Dr. Akshara, so in the lab two, we have done revisions. Yes. And lab three, we have done, uh, done the marathon sessions where it was very quick revision of uh, the entire syllabus. So how was this revision schedule helpful in your preparation? Can you say some words? The Both the revisions, the lab two and the marathon are both very, very good. And uh, I have followed both of them or everything in the recorded section only not in the live section because uh, i'm a, i'm like a student like i don't have that much um that much uh, idea uh, that much sorry <laughs> sir, 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 sir. okay okay uh, that uh, that um, i don't want to sit like continuously for four hour or five hour so i will watch okay. for two hours and i will take a break and after that i will wa uh, watch the video from where where it stops and uh, and i uh, sometimes i feel like and that that the points are not coming to my head and i'm so um, tensed or the, these things are not um, the first time i'm hearing these things so i'm like tensed so i will take breaks continuously uh, and i'm watching those videos oh great the, uh, so you have basically utilized the uh, the entire video so the just that only thing is that you have not uh, watched them like but you have stick to the schedule and you have completed the entire syllabus along uh, with the mission classes. Yes. Yes, that's great. And how did you use the exam and discussion ENDs? ENDs, uh, ENDs also, uh, I will follow the, the same plan that the question, I will do the questions within the hmm. time schedule only and I'm, I have never missed any live sessions for those questions and ah. after, uh, and after that, uh, I will go through every question and uh, write down the mistake, mis mistaken questions. And yes. after that, I watch the ENDs. ENDs oh. are also, I didn't watch the live sessions, I just the recorded session. And I will stop the recording and then note down the points. And after that, uh, continue the video like that only. Okay. So for students uh, who are watching the video for the first time, you know, the, uh, the exam and discussion, the live sessions, they happen in the evening time, usually from 5.30 and they will go yes. till uh, 10, 10 30. So if you are a student who wants to watch it as a recorded one, taking small, small breaks, that is also possible and you can do that uh, in the Cerebellum Academy. And mm -hmm. Dr. Uh, Akshara, can you tell how did you use the grandest aspect of the Cerebellum Academy? The grand test, that was like a nightmare for me because uh, I have done the first grand test and I have uh, scored like 149. At that time, I was uh, I was like happy because in mm. the first grand test, without completing those subjects, just two or three subjects were, was over at that time. Uh, I was able to score 149. I was happy at that time. And in the grand test too, I have scored like 150. And I was mm. like, okay. In the grand test too also, I have somehow scored 150 like that. But after that, the grand test, I'm not like improving, like just 152, 153, like that only. And hmm. in the fourth grand test, I have got 146. At that time, I was like, oh, what happened to me? Like self-doubting and everything, anxiety and everything came to my mind. 
but in the last grand test that the last grand test this january and i i was i has got 205 that was the highest score that i got from this app I, uh, okay then even even though that question bank was uh, like very tough for me and at that time i was thinking oh uh, for the real exam will it be like this or it will be easy and i have done uh, simultaneously other uh, institutes question bank and in that question bank i was able to score like 240 250 uh, 230 every time i am done, uh, doing that question bank i was able to score 200 plus but in the cerebellum app only i have, i'm only able to score like 170 one two, uh, only one time i have scored 205 so i was like so, uh, so doubtful about this question banks and everything but after the exam once i have done my final this exam jan 2025 exam i was damn sure that the question will be only like the questions that you have go uh, doing like in the grand test in the grand test also the questions are not directly coming from our notes it's just like uh, so many questions that we don't didn't even hear heard about it some questions are like that only for the final exam also i have found th those questions like that only and the second part i was thinking why uh, why i am uh, doing that other institute questions like the whole questions are like cerebellum only only and only cerebellum questions like that mode i am not telling that every questions that you have t short not i am not telling like that but sincerely i am telling the mode of questions like oh, everything is like cerebellum only Yes. Uh, so basically, Dr. Akshara is telling that uh, the average of the score of the grant test which you are going to give in the Cerebellum Academy, that is going to match with the actual score yes. which you are going to get in the final exam. So yeah, we have uh, made it sure that all the questions are very genuine and they are very much close to the actual exam. So we ourselves are uh, giving the MCQs for you. That is the reason why it is very much closer to the actual score and, and also the pyqs the late night uh, pyqs that helped me so much because every day i'm doing that pyqs uh, like uh, for the last month it was like 40 40 plus questions and i have done only those questions they on the daily basis i have done the, those questions and it it helped me a lot for the pyqs uh, that was an awesome section that the pyq section i want to yes. tell that, that 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 was so good Yes. So indeed, we have put so much of effort for uh, creating those uh, late night PYQs. And uh, we are very happy that they are actually helping our students a lot because at the end of the day, it will be very, you know, uh, tired and uh, uh, we'll feel that array, what we'll study. So in that time, if you just uh, practice the MCQs, which are also uh, PYQs, that is going to boost your confidence and also you are going to do uh, some revision so it is basically a type of revision only but uh, it is an active revision we can say yeah yes uh, dr akshay you want to say anything uh, about what are the don'ts which the students should uh, avoid the don'ts that i feel are the one thing that may uh, that may uh, that some mistakes i have done for my exam is like the, for the sec after the first part I was like, uh, before the few days, before few days of the exam, I was like, okay, uh, even though the cerebellum questions are so tough, uh, I'm able to score some uh, high marks in other institute questions. So I think uh, I build a pseudo confidence in me, like the questions will be like that only and I will be able to score more the questions. And the, I have known something, I, I, I have a pseudo confidence like that. But after first section, I was like, the question like cerebellum only that the question paper is so hard the uh, there are so many things that I, I i don't know so i was so tensed after the first session and for the second session i had made some some mistakes like have um i have changed my some answers uh for yes, okay. more than 10 or 15 answers and after oh. the exam i have uh, i know i have done a blunder that i don't want to take um, change those answers like uh, the sigmoid volvulus question i have seen the sigmoid volvulus and i have know that sigmoid volvulus but after that i somehow i changed the answer i don't know why why did i change it so uh, the, the, for the first time i am changing the answers in the final exam even though the cerebellum questions banks are so tough i didn't do that in uh, in my grand test or anything so uh, mm. the first thing i have to tell everyone is don't change the answers whatever you think the answer is correct you have to 
go with it don't uh, uh, revise it and don't change the answers and the other thing i have to uh, tell is every in the final exam there are some questions that you don't know maybe 50 plus 50 plus questions you never know that uh, you, even though you, you you didn't see it in your notes or even heard about it but even you left it out there you will be able to pass so yeah, in the final exam uh, not only studying you have to control your anxiety you have to mm, control your emotions that that also a building point for your success this is these are the things that i have to tell yes dr akshara you have uh, summarized the most important uh, aspect in the examination the previous student also told the same thing so believe your gut instinct the first answer which you are marking is most of the times correct don't try to revisit and don't try to change them that is yeah. very very important uh, so if you uh, so if a, a student we have seen some students you know uh, who got 149 and the problem was that they have changed the question okay answer and the last minute and that was wrong so yeah. that guilt it is going to be uh, very heavy and uh, you may not be able to tolerate that after so if you go, got 149 so try to avoid that and for this what you need is so cool mind just before the examination and you should take your preparation till the last day and also be cool and uh, like what you are doing in the grand test of uh, cerebellum academy just like that give the another exam this is another grand test okay uh, then you are going to come out uh, of the examination hall with uh, peace of mind and happy face and uh, so yeah. dr akshara uh, you want to uh, say anything about a faculty and how did you feel which uh, which was your uh, favorite faculty any uh, such uh for Uh, faculties everyone is <laughs> everyone is so so nice and i don't want to m- mention someone or, or anything like that uh, for the sign up ma'am no everyone is good but i have followed the btr sessions also for some subjects like uh, i have followed the btr sessions um, and also like um, previous year uh, question and uh, video that also i have followed other than this 200 plus that live sessions because we are like a tight schedule like uh, we yes. have classes we have to study even though i have somehow uh, done some btr videos and also that was also good if you have time you have uh, you will definitely go with btr also that will go, uh, make you like concise everything that if, yeah after watching the mission classes then you can go to btr i i will suggest that only because uh, the mission class is the best uh, and for uh, dermatology the uh, i want to thank you thank you because uh, i have done dermatology from you on from only you because uh, i didn't uh, even have read something from other dermatology faculties on for some subjects i will read like just notes or for, go through those, those notes but for dermatology your note was so complete that uh, even the mission class no mission notes i didn't uh, read the main notes the mission notes is the complete one every questions will come from there only for the final exam also from uh, six or seven questions came from dermatology and i am able to uh, do do those, those six correct questions correct only i didn't make any mistakes and also uh, uh, the after the exam way back to my home uh, i have seen your message in telegram group uh, the recall recall questions and uh, and i have done give my uh, um, my suggestions also there and you have given thumbs up for those for those question and after Achha. the oh sir uh, sir has given me thumbs up then i then i i, I had recalled my questions uh, by googling it and take those pictures and, and give it to the group like that after that you give thumbs up and i say oh, okay sir is giving thumbs up then i will do something <laughs> like that only so uh, i want to thank every cerebellum academy faculty like abu mehra sir gobind rai sir everyone the pediatric sanand patia yes, sir everyone I'm so so thankful to you all so, so thank you for giving me this much content this much everything i'm so thankful okay that's so nice of you dr akshara for uh, com- uh, completely uh explaining about all the uh, faculties from cerebellum academy and uh, we are very happy that our students are uh, happy with whatever efforts we are putting um and uh, so once again hearty congratulations for your uh, great score thank you thank you sir and uh, we'll meet in the 
cerebellum meet which uh, is going to happen soon sure, and sure. it will be announced and uh, so okay. all the very best for all your future endeavors thank you thank you so much sir okay thank you so much and uh, dear students i hope this video was helpful please uh, like this video and do subscribe to the channel and in the comments you can put any doubts if you are having and uh, thank you so much we'll meet in the next video happy happy learning bye bye